Each year, thousands of horses and horse owners are impacted by disasters, such as tornadoes, wildfires, floods, and many other things. Anything that impacts the well-being of a horse is a disaster to that horse's owner, but by definition, a disaster is anything that overwhelms the ability of local law enforcement and other resources to respond. The purpose of this video will be to provide some tips for horse owners to prepare their horses to give them the best chance of survival during a disaster. So just what can horse owners do to prepare? First and foremost, it's important for them to have an understanding of the kinds of disasters that could affect their area, a basic plan for where they would or could evacuate to, and an idea of multiple routes to get there in the event that one or more are impassable. Having an evacuation plan is important, but it's completely useless if your horse won't load into a trailer to evacuate. Practice loading and unloading horses under both normal circumstances and under varying noise and stimulation levels, and at all hours. Keep in mind that handling a panicked horse is much different and more dangerous than handling a horse under normal circumstances. Develop your knowledge of horse behavior and your understanding of how horses react when faced with smoke, fire, unusual noises, and whatnot. Practice ahead of time can help make the process go more smoothly. Stay calm and remember that your calm yet firm demeanor will increase their odds of survival. Horse owners should also make certain that they can evacuate all horses within 30 minutes to three hours, depending on the disaster, and that all equipment required to evacuate is in good working order. A wildfire moving in your direction is not the time to discover that your truck won't start or the trailer tires are flat. If you're taking horses, you'll also need to make sure that you have plenty of feed, water, and medical supplies as needed. If you decide to leave horses outside and leave them behind, open gates between pastures so that they can use their instincts to move to the areas most likely to allow them to survive. For example, horses will typically move away from rising water if they are able. One of the most difficult decisions to make is whether to leave horses inside or out during tornadoes or other weather-related events, and there really is no simple answer. Each situation needs to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis, as the landscape will vary from place to place. For example, in the Midwest, there may be increased opportunities for trees to fall on fence lines, where that is less of an issue in the Plains states. Finally, keep copies of all ownership and registration documents, as well as breeding records, photos, and emergency contacts, including your own, in a waterproof container in your truck or trailer. You may also wish to scan copies of the same documents and save them to a flash drive in another location, such as a business or office, in case originals are destroyed during the incident. This video highlights only the basics of planning for a disaster with your horse's best interest in mind. For more information, Visit myhorseuniversity.com and eExtension to find more resources on giving your horse the best chance during a disaster.